What's up guys welcome back so today we'll learn how to play Let's fall in love for the night Bye Phineas So keep on the fifth fret let's get started guys Now this song is actually one year old I'm so Like I never saw such a great singer It's actually a super good singer I uh, really like this song I uh, just, just saw the video today uh, I think the video was released two days before And like I don't know why it's so underrated, but uh, Phineas, I think the brother of Billy Alice, is super cool. I uh, like the song, so let's get started with no further delay. We got the keeper on the fifth fret, now I'm just gonna cover exactly what all parts was going on. Uh, maybe a bit difficult the finger picking, but just take some time, like just practice for one, two days, uh, and you'll actually get it. So let's get started, but before that, just wanna show you some easy chord shapes. So let's fall in love for the night. Keep on the fifth fret by Phineas. Four chords, uh, likely five chords you can say. Five chords we have. So let's have a look at the five chords. The first chord is a D minor. You can just go down to the chord charts for more details down below in my comments. So mute, mute, zero, two, three, one. Then you have a G major, which is three, two, zero, zero, three. Now for this song, I'm also using a variation, like the song, uh, it's a G7, which is 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, like a C major shape, but just shifting to 1 fret up. Then we have A minor, which is mute, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, and C major, mute, 3, 2, 0 1 0 and then we have our E minor which is 0 2 2 0 0 0 and that's everything for the song guys now let's talk about the structure of the song we got the chorus we got the verse the next chorus bridge and a, and with a very soft chorus so let's get started now very easy cause likely we have four chords but the thing is these are actually jumbled uh, like we got many uh, variation the chord progression so let's have a look at it so first part is the chorus now the chorus now actually you can see uh, the chord progression just want to clear the chord progression of the chorus first then I'm just gonna show you how to finger picking on all so look at screen you can see the chords first chord is a D minor then a G then a E minor then a E minor yeah once more, D, G, C, C, then the next chord, D minor, G major, C major, A minor, then we have D minor, G major, G7, C. Now I think it's not at all clear for you guys, so let me break down, a few, break down it a bit more slowly. So the first line of chord, for the chorus, which consists of four chords, is D minor, then a G major, then a E minor, then a E minor. Next line of chord we got D minor, then a G major, then a C major, then a C major. Now, whatever everything I'm telling is actually one bar. So one, two, three, four, one. Simple. Just keep it very simple. And the next line of chord we have a D minor, G major. C major, A minor. Then the last line of chord we got D minor, G major, G7, C. Now the reason I told you the chord progression before, cause now I'm just gonna show you how to finger pick. So let's get started. Now some basic I just want to tell you is I'm using. So just give me a second. One. So I'm using my thumb to pick the top E string, A string or the D string, whatever, doesn't matter. Based on the chord, like on the D minor chord, we got the bass note on the D string. G major we have on the top string, E minor also on the top string, A minor and C major on the A string. I think uh, now you all get these things, it's quite clear, so. Uh, and I'm using my G string, for, I'm using my index finger for the G string, my middle finger for the B string and ring finger. For the last string, which is high E string, yeah. Now, basically, we have. 
I'm just gonna break everything down with tabs and all but before that just give me this common thing which will make this super easy what we're doing is we're actually doing we are picking so we are following a rhythm where we are actually picking two strings uh, likely the bass note and the next note after it so two, cos two corresponding strings so like D, G, D or in some cases A, D, A then we are, what we are doing is then we are just picking the high E string and B string together then again together then picking the G string and that's almost common for all the chords. I just want to show you the tabs and everything and it will be more easy for you guys but before that just get a simple thing because that will make it more easy and simple to understand so once more we have this is the basic rhythm so let's get started so look at the tab, the D minor chord which we are playing, we are actually picking the D string first, then the G string, then the D string, then we are picking the high E string and the B string together, I told you before, then we are lifting our index finger on the high E string and making it open, and picking E string and B string together once more, then G string, and that's it, very easy, once more. So actually start, let's fall in love, let's start in love, let's start with the D minor chord. Next chord, um, uh, let's have a look at the G major chord. So over here we are first picking the top string, then the G string, then the top string, then again doing the same thing, high E string and B string, third fret, picking together. Then lifting our ring finger and making it first fret on the high E string with our index finger and picking it together and then again ending it with a G like the previous chord. So we got um, then the next chord take the example of C major chord. So C major chord, look at C major chord, what we're doing is so we're just shifting one string up, like we are now picking A string, then D string, then again A. Then we are picking the B string and the G string together. Then lifting our index finger and making it open on the B string. So open G string, open B string. Plucking it twice, uh, plucking it once. Both the string. Then D string. So we got. And doing the, exactly the same thing on the A minor chord. A, D, A. E, B, A, sorry. Uh, B, BG lift then D string so we got now I told you the chord progression before and the last chord just, uh, we needed for the verse really use chord E minor chord uh, so we are, we are playing the top E string first then the D string then again the E string then Again, B and G, B and the G string plucking together, but now we are putting our index finger on the first fret. So ten, ten, then ending it with a D string. That is the E note. Now, since you know the chord progression, just look at look the screen. Oh, we got the chord progression for the chorus. Uh, so consists of four lines. Now I'm just gonna play it very softly. I can just pause the video, practice whatever I told you guys. So first let's have a look at it. Last, what we're doing is we are playing the D minor, we are picking D minor, finger picking whatever we did at the beginning or the previous ones. 
God. Now we are just and uh, just going to the verse with the strum, strumming the G major slowly. G7, C, and that's it. Very easy. So let's play it together, guys. One, two, three, four. Playing it softly. What's my minor? D minor. G major. C major. C major. D minor. G major. C major. A minor. Once more D minor. And now G. G7. C. That's it. So let's fall in love for the night. That you have I try and pick me up. Uh, we go to the verse. So for the verse again, I'll uh, just do the same finger picking. Now the thing I just want to tell you. In the song, Phineas actually do a slap. So Phineas, Phineas slaps in the song. Uh, I mean slap and he slaps the guitar. So there is actually some bits included over here. So just want to show you that. If you can do it, it's great. So let's have a look at it. Now guys, uh, so you play. So like you're playing this finger picking for everything. But if you want to slap like Phineas, so we're just gonna pick the D string, do the same thing. Pick, but instead of going to the next tune, we're just gonna slap, then play that note. So we're just adding a slap between the, uh, plucking the two strings together. Like this, exactly like this Phineas did. some more slaps if you want uh, it's up to you but if it seems too hard for you guys I can just stay with the finger picking now let's move on to the verse now for the verse our uh, chord progression changes a bit now you can actually look at screen a chord progression D minor, D minor then a G major then a E minor then a E minor once more D minor then a G major then a C major then a E minor then a D minor then a G major, then a C major, then a E minor, then a D minor, once more D minor, G major, G major. So very easy. Now don't afraid guys, just take a uh, second to memorize the chord progression. Now the thing is, I'll show you the finger picking, you're just gonna do similar finger picking uh, according to the chord progression given on the screen. So I'm playing it softly, the first part, with the slap. But you can actually slap because the verse it gets a bit poppy and also you can just slap. Go to G, A minor, again D minor, G major, C major, E minor, D minor, G major, C major. D minor, D minor, D minor, G major, that's it, now that was for the first, now for the next chorus, you can do the same finger picking without the slap, next chorus I'm playing, same chord progression. Then we come to the first two, which is likely the bridge of the song. Now, for the bridge, don't need a finger pick. For the bridge, we are actually going. So, we are actually doing four downstrokes on each chord 
So like the previous verse chord progression, this is exactly same, but we're just doing four strum, four chord, uh, four strums on each chord, four down strokes. So down, 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 one, two, three. So uh, I was a bit wrong, not four, but eight down strokes. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Go to the G major, like the chord progression we did for the verse. G major, two, three, four, A minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, A minor for two bars. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. D minor, D major, C major, D minor. Next line, it gets a bit different. Same chord progression, D minor, G major, C major, A minor, but we just gonna do different thing, which is. So I'm strumming down on the chord, keeping my hands to get the string muted. Then I'm doing down down, and again muting the string. Just want to change the strong uh, rhythm for this part. Then G major, C major, A minor. Again go with the same thing. Down 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 down. Two bars. G major one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. And that's it for the bridge. Now we're just gonna go to the last chorus. Let's fall in love. In Sorry, what was the lyrics? Let's fall in love with the night. Forget it the And that's it we end the song like this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this lesson guys. Uh, let me know in the comment below any song that you want to learn by Phineas. Uh, he's actually a great singer guys. Um, and also songwriter obviously. So thanks for all the support you guys are giving me now. Uh, just want to say that 1k subscriber guys is just going to do a face to it. It's going to show my actual face. What is my real face? How it looks like? I'm just going to reveal a new guitar which is to me like I already have it's not a new guitar but it's like new to yours but I've never played it in Europe so that's a great guitar in which I like to do soloing and all improvising and also reveal of what reveal oh, I forgot yeah just gonna increase the camera quality because it's gonna buy another camera for you guys so thanks for all the support guys once more don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we'll see you back, guys, for the next video. Then bye and take care.